Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. Today I'll be showing you guys the Gen Hotel by Shangri-La here in Beijing. The coolest thing about this hotel has to be the gym, which we will get to later in the video. The first half of this video will be showing you the hotel and its amenities, and the second half will be some good food spots in the mall right beside the hotel. There will be timestamps on the bar below so you can flick through if needed, but without further ado, let's look at the hotel. Let's start the tour at the lobby of the hotel and then make our way to the room on the 21st floor. Now let's get into a quick tour of the room, starting from the left we got some nice storage space and a safe and then moving to the right we got a super modern looking bathroom. And then as you enter the main area of the room you can see a coffee machine, a table, a sofa and a living space and then on the right you've got the bed, a TV and of course the most important thing of the room is its amazing view. Now let's head on downstairs to the coolest part of the hotel which is probably the gym. This is Train Yard, the 24 hour accessible hotel gym. This gym is gigantic at 3,500 square meters spanning two floors. It contains a huge variety of top of the line fitness machines, weights and boxing equipment. On top of that, they also house a pool. And now let's move on to the most important part for me, and that is the food. And because I was staying at the hotel, I had free access to the all-you-can-eat buffet dinner every night. But obviously I didn't go every night because there are other places to explore. Trying as much of the foods as possible, I can say there were some dishes that were really fantastic, but some were quite a letdown. So let's start with my top 3 foods in my opinion of the night, starting with which is a Chinese egg pancake with a crunchy layer stuffed with different proteins. Next is Ma La Tang, which is a type of Chinese street food originating in Sichuan. And finally we have Jia Jia Mian, which is a black bean noodle, a very popular Beijing dish. Some honorable mentions has to be the mussels, crawfish, and the sheep tripe. However, there were some disappointments and some things that weren't good, and those were the sushi and the soft ice cream. That pretty much wraps up the hotel tour, now let's explore the mall right beside the hotel to see some good food spots. The first restaurant is called Our Bakery and here we tried the spaghetti bolognese which had a very good blend of savory, sweet and herbal flavors. However, we could have definitely done with some more of that delicious sauce. 
We also had this garlic steak fried rice, which was oddly sweet, but still has this super savory flavor with the steak and the crunchy garlic bits. The next food spot, which name I'm not even going to try to pronounce, sells these delicious looking cream puffs and ice cream. Trying the cream puff, it was super crispy and airy on the outside, and on the inside, the pastry cream was creamy, light, and sweet. It was truly amazing. The ice cream was good as well, being nice and silky, however the cream puff was just definitely the highlight. Now we have this Vietnamese restaurant where we had a huge bowl of pho, some curry and some spring rolls. The pho and the curry were pretty standard, however I have to mention these spring rolls. They were super crunchy and had the perfect ratio of filling and batter. The pork and vermicelli filling was super good on its own, but with the sauce, it was definitely brought up a level. For the final food spot in the mall beside the hotel, there's this really good hot pot place. For the meal, we decided to select two soup bases, pork bone broth and chili broth. What I loved about this place was not only the similar stunning view as the hotel room outside the window, but things such as the beautiful presentation of the food and the super fresh seafood from their water tanks in the front of their restaurant. Trying the food, it was all very high quality and delicious and fresh. And combined with the eating environment and everything I've mentioned before, the overall eating experience was fantastic. That wraps up today's review on the Gen Hotel by Shangri-La in Beijing and some of my food recommendations nearby it. The Gen Hotel definitely is packed with lots of good things going for it. The amazing gym, its location, and its accessibility to nearby food spots. With that being said, I hope you found this video useful and enjoyable. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!